right, and welcome to Henry Clark's channel. This is Henry Clark's channel where I kind of tell you guys just how to get that little bit more out of the band in the box, right? But I've got some news today. And my news today is, is disappointing, right? Because what happened was that in January, I created a tutorial on how you can extract MIDI channels and put them on utility tracks by using the MIDI move command. Well, that was in January, okay? Voila, here we are in June and it doesn't work. It doesn't work anymore, right? And people have asked me, you know, uh, what's going on, right? What's wrong with your tutorial? Well, there's nothing wrong. First, there's nothing wrong with my tutorial. <laughs> Excuse me, you think you got me coughing. There's nothing wrong with my tutorial, right? And just to test the theory, what I did was I went back and found my old 2021 band in the box and decided to, I loaded it out on a laptop and the function worked perfectly, right? So what would cause something like that to happen? Well, it's because I think, and this is an opinion, but I think it's because of product updates. I worked in this in the, in the IT industry for over over 20 years, right? Actually, I worked for the largest. I was an executive in the largest IT company in the world for over 15 years, and I know how this works a lot of times. So, you know, the question comes up sometimes: is um, is software buggy? Is the band box software buggy? Well, here's the thing, folks. And I'm gonna use a quote here, right? And it says, "Our legendary games." Uh, uh, that sold buggy software, right? You know, and it says, in a sense, the software business is about selling buggy software, right? And again, it's not just so, it's not ban in the box. I'm not singling out ban in the box. Matter of fact, I, I decided to do a check and see at Microsoft Office 365. Since January has had, what, 12 significant updates to that software package just since January and here it is uh, June June actually it's July but here it is July right they've had 12 updates to that package and also I looked and I said let me look at band in the box and see what's going on here how many updates or quote unquote fixes have they done and even since 2022 came out they have had four major fixes to the product. And I'm not going to read all the things they fixed. If you want to go and look at an update, you can see that they fixed a ton of things in the update when they released it, right? So I could only surmise that when I made the video, I was on probably build number one of Band in the Box 2022, and the function actually worked perfectly. I don't do MIDI, I don't do this thing every day, right? So I'm not exactly sure. But what I would say is that right now I'm on bill um, nine. I'm on bill 923 update, and it doesn't work. I contacted the help desk, which the helpless desk, right? You know, um, I stayed on hold for oh gosh, I, for 15 minutes. I actually I asked the question, and then I ended up on hold so long. I just hung up, man. I just went, you know what? I I can't, I can't deal with it, right? I I'm going to make an assumption that they are going to fix it in one of the future updates. But just so you know, um, when people will say sometimes is, is, is ban in the box buggy software, right? Guess what, folks? All software is buggy. It's just a matter of them finding. Uh, what happens sometimes, I'll put it like this. What happens sometimes is that the bugs that are identified, though, a lot of the users may not even notice the bug because they may not use that particular function. I mean, there was a thing in, in software development where they talk about the 80-20 rule, right? If 80% of the users use certain functions, right, they may not even notice the bugs because it doesn't pertain to what they do. And who knows, maybe most of the people who use Band in a Box software, maybe they don't use the MIDI move function, so therefore to them, it's no issue, right? But for guys like me or maybe some of you out there, right, it is an issue, and I'm hopefully they're going to correct it uh, very soon. So I just want to do this quick video just to talk about how, you know, to me and my experience in the IT industries for so many years, right, is that all of software is is, is buggy, you know, and 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 development teams are consistently working on patches to 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 fix you know certain bugs that have appeared, and a lot of these bugs are also based on user feedback, right, you know, because they they listen to user feedback. 
and they make their course corrections from there, you know. So that's all I really got for you guys today is that some of my tutorials on the MIDI Move command that worked in January on 2022 and not working right now and I don't know when that's going to be fixed but I'm actually putting it down to a software bug and a patch that maybe a patch maybe if it have affected maybe they patched something and it affected that function so maybe they fixed another function but then that function no longer works so I can't so that's all I have for you guys today right so band in the box in my opinion this is not a knock on band in the box you know um their software has no more issues than a lot of enterprise software. Um, I think my Call of Duty has been updated uh, a thousand times, right? Oh, but one thing I will say, though, is that I do think to a certain degree, I think based on the Band in the Box marketing strategy of releasing a new version every year, uh, I, I, I'm not I'm not privy to that. I don't know how their business model is. They Maybe they make tons of money from it. I don't know. But what I would say is that I think it might be a little bit difficult for them because if they have half the development team working on stuff that didn't work in that version and the other half of the development team working on the new stuff, right? I mean, who's to say what the best what the best process is or what the best outcome is? I wouldn't know that. I wouldn't be privy to that because I do know that most of the other software development the stuff that's out there, I put it like that, you know, is that they're usually on a two to three year development cycle before they bring out a new version of the product. But again, just so you know, again, I'm not, this is a, not a knock on band in the box software. It's probably no more buggy than any other software. And also, you know, the bugs that are inherent in the program may, may relate to functions that you may never even use. So again, that's all I got for you guys, right? And I will see you guys next time. And don't give up on the tutorials, man. Don't give up on the tutorials because I guarantee you, they're going to be back fresher than ever. And you're going to be glad you have those. And also, don't forget my shirt, right? I got I to gotta pitch my shirt. I just got to do that. Cause that's just part of the game right if you go look at my video you got to get my shirt and you got to go to my site and try to get one of my shirts i have them in different colors now too which is kind of cool right and i've even got a little coffee cup for those of you who want to do that so again i will see you guys next time and have a great great day check you later bye